Joy to key. It's always something I forget. There we go. Now we are nice and prepared to play video games. If I were a game dev, I would have hit something there. Whoa, this looks secret. <gasps> Pots! My favorite. One of these is going to have a tiny metal. Strength seed. There's a tiny metal. A human head. Yayoi. Like Tsubaki Yayoi. What? This is all very mysterious. Give me a little more time to bid farewell to where I grew up. Richie is a terrible monster. Okay. This town makes no sense. Mystic Nut, if you know what I mean. I could be the next sacrifice. Please save me. Wake me up. Wake me up inside. Can't wake up. Wake me up inside. Save me. So how far does this town go up? I'm a little scared. I'm glad that there are no tiny metals here. This is the manor of Himiko, our master. The foreign lands to all the people who go out in those kinds of outlandish attire, how pitiful. <laughs> no, I am quite unique in the way I dress. Shart for the first time? That's awful. Himiko is the only god that people worship here. So, um... I changed my mind and I do want to grab some in and out. Deeply concerned about Orochi. Also, uh, uh, Plucky wants me to pick me up from work at 7 o'clock. Wants me to pick him up from work. I mean, Mystic Nut. Oh, nice three strength. Dropping those Mystic Nuts. Plomp, did you know you're an actual good character now? Sage, smart. Look at those stats. You're like the luckiest sage in the universe. Oh, look at all those spells. Sages are awesome. Checked underfoot, but there is nothing. I don't believe it. Okay, I believe it. What? It's spongy. It's called Zabuton? Bitch be walking. Himiko relies on her premonition to choose sacrifices. Tiny metal. Every time I find a tiny metal, I'm relieved. Strength seed. Cause, oh, these are dressers? Training. God, fuck. I don't even think that's good. I know the scale is bad. I'm just tossing that shit. I don't need it. Training is really bad. Recently, Himiko is said to have acquired amazing powers. Is this Himiko? Hey, bitch. Bite your tongue. Your ludicrous attire. You must have come from a foreign land. I really do have a, a fucking ludicrous attire. Mmm. She cycles between her two lines. Interesting. So there's something very mysterious going on in this region. Wow. She was actually going to be sacrificed. so much open area here. It's intimidating. Appease Orochi by human sacrifice. Treasured ball Himiko keeps. Whoa, there's an orb here. Sick. 
I still don't have the echoing flute. That's supposed to be an item that makes it really easy to find orbs. Yes, I'm foreign. I've been foreign in every single fucking town in the entire game. It's the first town that makes a big deal out of it. Thanks, Japan. If I had a girl, I would have worried she would be made a sacrifice. Rochi eats little girls, huh? I'm jealous. Rochi will come eat us all. Wells always have cool things in them, except when they don't. This would be an example of a well with nothing cool in it. I hate the idea that there might be something in these wells. I'm just really afraid that there will be. Like, just in a random spot. That'd be like something. I don't want that. Alright, whatever. Hello. The nice lady. I become paranoid about checking underfoot. Cloth. Why? I mean, I guess it's realistic. It's not realistic that I would just take someone's clothes, though. I guess I'm going to go kill Orochi, right? I mean, like, that seems appropriate. Orochi's probably in here somewhere. Little cave, full of lava. That's where I'd put my Orochi. <gasps> in other later Dragon Quest games, there's a random chance that when you find a bunch of medallies, that they will all, um... There are particular kinds of medallies that will fuse into a Metal King. I killed one of them. Whatever. Only make right turns. That's how you don't get lost. Uh, do I have derangers? I think I do. I definitely have grizzlies. Oh, Bruins. Grizzlies are gray, I guess. I'm pretty sure I don't have Lava Man. I think I only got Ice Man. So let's get these. Oh, stole a world leaf? Holy fuck. Lob Man's item is a world leaf? That's insane. That's a really good item. I should kill a bunch of these and get a bunch of world leaves. Apparently, pretty good odds. I just want a lava metal. What's the difference between a lava, lava man metal and a fucking ice man metal? They're probably looking identical. I mentioned how relieved I am that I'm not going down to Big Bear on a surprise visit tonight. That would have just been really annoying. There we go. Got one. Right turns only. Stole the token. King Toad? Do I have that one? Ice Dragon's my last enemy. There's Ice Man. They're different, but similar. Where's King Toad? Okay, now I'm beginning to think that I don't have it. Oh, no, it's all the way down here. Very basic enemy. Alright, cool, I can't walk across lava, that's relieving. No mask. No! That's a... It's a kind of Japanese... F Holy fuck, is that tripling my defense? Why is that so much? Look at that! Look at that defense! It must be cursed, I guess? Yeah, I put it on. The no mask was cursed. Um... That's really good, even if it's a cursed item. Cursed items typically in Dragon Quest have really, really good stats or some really, really good property. But then, um, 
uh, being cursed in battle is kind of annoying. Well, I found a ladder going down. Broadleaf. That's probably the only place you can find Lava Man. It seems like it would be a unique enemy to a place where there is actually lava. I'm pretty sure number of enemies you've killed definitely... Maybe not. Maybe overall number of enemies killed. But if I kill three enemies trying to get a medal, it seems to be the same likelihood as killing one enemy trying to get a medal. The ranger actually seems like a high level enemy. The lava men don't. Which is odd. World leaves. Let me just be here forever. There we go. Whoa. I wanted to smell. No chests are left on this floor. Brings me great comfort. Hmm. Panic all. Scary. There's an enemy in... Oh, shit, I found Orochi. That was fast. There's an enemy in Dragon Quest Seven called the Confu Peng. And, wait, is it Seven? Um, and it looks a little bit dizzy. And it does an attack. It does, it does the Panda Dance, which confuses the entire party. But it doesn't have enough MP natively to cast that move, so it cannot use it. It'll occasionally try and select it because of its AI, but like it'll always fail because its max MP is lower than the MP needed to cast Panic All. And um, the enemy's name is Confu Peng, and it's a penguin. And it seems to be a penguin that inflicts confusion. That seems to be the origin of the name, but it can't ever actually inflict confusion. So here's Orochi, which I just walked up to it and it attacked me. I don't know if I'm a high enough level to fight this thing. I presume I am since I'm supposed to do this earlier than I actually did it. I have a bunch of weapons that are um, designed for fighting multiple enemies. Yeah, I seem pretty well pretty well off. Doesn't appear to be doing that much damage. It will be really bad if it has strong breath attacks, though. If memory serves, you have to fight this thing twice. I'm going to briefly check to see if this thing... Whoa, just killed Baff. Yeah, because it's got a... It's got a... It seemed to use a breath attack. Let's watch what it does. Speed fire, yep. Gah! Does anyone have heal us? Baff might have heal us. No. I actually have iron eyes. It turns your entire team into steel. You cannot take damage, but you cannot attack. Bit of a weird spell. I think it lasts three turns, which is absolutely way too long. There are situations where it's useful. It's been in the series since this game, and it's always been a little bit random. It's always been a really high-level spell that very few units have access to. Usually the endgame heroes and stuff. And I have Zap, which is holy slash lightning elemental. Lightning's not really holy. Wind is holy. Let's try it out. We'll see how much damage it does. 73. I think that works on all, all enemies, too, so that's pretty cool. I don't have heal more. These are really random spells. What does return do in a fight? Why is that there? Does it, like, flee the fight? Yeah, I guess it does. Well, like, casting heal on myself isn't going to do crap. If I could cast... I don't remember when you get heal, heal us. Oh, it double attacked me. Fortunately, I have two good healers, so, like, not really that bad. Yeah, that was, that was a piss. Honestly, I feel like I can just attack it and it'll die. There it goes. The Orochi Sword. Cool. It backed into a Traveler's Gate rather than simply dying. 
I don't want to be here yet. I want to see what these two paths have. Damn, boomerangs are awesome. This throne room reminds me a lot of the room with, uh, oh, what is it? The cat, the mad cat from five? There doesn't appear to be anything here. Which I find hard to believe, but whatever. So let's check out this Orochi sword, because that sounds pretty cool. It's a lot stronger than my flame boomerang. And Plump can equip it instead of the dragon whip, so that's pretty cool. I think I'm going to stuff it in my bag. Tokens galore. Tiny metals galore. Anyway, Himiko, we must tend to your wounds. Where could Himiko have sustained such injuries? They're terrible. Hmm. You must leave. Only you could have seen me in my true form. Keep silent what you've seen, and I will allow you to live. Do you accept? Yes. So here... You have to fight Orochi again. It might be a harder one. In fact, yeah, it's definitely a harder one. I remember. Because there's two. They, it has two different medals. This gay fucking dragon. I should have cast defense and also sap. In fact, let's do some. Let's do some whatever heal. Speed fire. That's really not good. Rochi's unaffected. This thing is already fucking me up pretty good. Defense might be an upgraded sap, yeah. Damn, Kuro died. That didn't happen. Dude, the yellow. It's back. Defense will greatly uh, accelerate the rate at which I kill the stupid creature. a good strat we got going on right now. Oops, dead. I want to see if I can get the um, metal from this thing. I want to see if it drops a metal. Because it might only drop a metal, it might not drop a metal at all because it's a boss. Or it might drop a metal but like... Um, um, I have to do multiple playthroughs to get its medals. I could have tried with the first one too, but now I think about it, like it dropped the sword, and the sword drop takes the place of a metal receive. So, I honestly have, oh, I got it, wow, look at that. An orb. Purple orb. I already knew. Himiko turned into a delicious chest. So that was a pretty tough boss, actually. Let's talk to everyone in the town getting new lines. 
Must have fallen to the fangs of Orochi. Scary. Thank you. I mean, I know my prize technically was the um, um, the orb, but like, I feel like these people should reward me with gold and shit. I feel like it's not good enough. You can't tell me there's nothing. I didn't even know you could come here. You can't just put nothing here. It's not fair. I gotta hit all the spots in this fucking entire map. Thank you very much. My child is actually a girl. Oh, you're a woman too? The way you're dressed? I'd always believed you to be a man. How embarrassing. That's funny. I guess it would be pretty ambiguous. I already got hide herbs. Did you expect me not to know that? It doesn't bear thinking about. I just found out I'm really a girl, but if I can be like Yayoi, being a girl might not be too bad. Imagine being told you were a boy when you had a vagina and being told boys had vaginas and then finding out that you were actually a girl. Thanks to you, we've been living in peace and happiness. Fucking give me something. You can't just say thank you. It doesn't work like that. I'm a hero. So, first thing I'm going to do is go to Eliahan and turn in all my tiny metals. I'm actually running low on things to do. I've still got some jail key things to unlock. Forty-three. Fifty, I get the ninja gear. How the fuck are you gonna get a hundred? They must be hidden literally everywhere. I feel like I'm pretty far into the game and I've only got forty-three. I should, there should, in, in, in the main world there should be at only like sixty, seventy. Or at least like 60, 70, I shouldn't, I mean only. Ah. Oh. I've hit everything. I haven't hit the inside of S South America, because I can't yet. There aren't that many things I still can't do. Alright, first order of business is to go this way. Die King Squids. Whoa. Wait, what the fuck is this? Oh, it's this town. I remember that town. I'm gonna go to the... I'm gonna go to fucking Plymouth Rock. Where they're starting a new a new society. Don't die, Kuro. What do we got here? Anything happening yet? I think I've been to Sue. Where's my dealer? I want to know what happened to him. To him. There he is. It's me, Pluck. Are things looking marvelous? I'm building a shop here. I mean, really, they don't, but whatever. Where is Sue? Oh, it's this. I want to go to the town that has the... Is it Lancel? Yeah, it is Lancel. Cool. Uh, first order of business is go to the inn. So there's still a lot of things to do. Beep. The yellow orb is said to pass between people all around the world. Even if we had the Neko fluid, it would be difficult to find. That's interesting. 
That's good. Uh, let's go up this one. I can see it. Be part ways with a friend while traveling. That friend will give you new hope. I already did that. Hey, Jin's Lord. Beep, beep, beep. Nice open doors. This is too suspicious to not have a tiny metal in it somewhere. Okay, maybe there's no tiny metals in it. Your courage is put to test at this temple. Do you have the courage to fight even alone? Yes. I wonder if this is much different. Um, treasure. Tiny metal. I wonder if this is much different if you uh, have been journeying the entire game solo up to this point. I feel the need to reiterate that you can, in fact, do that. I've got a flame boomerang, so this, I'm probably like the most comfortable solo of like any possible combination of of teams. If I think if you're playing single, if you're doing one one pro tag, you pretty much have to do. Did I just? Oops. Did I just? Um. Yeah. I think you pretty much need the blade boomerang or the flame boomerang. I think it's pretty much essential. See that fight, I would have been pretty much guaranteed to take damage. It's quite useful. Enemy's really getting up on you. Okay, up is doing me no favors. Tiny metal. That makes me worried. I gotta level up. And a killer metal. Neat. It's a mimic. Shit. This thing has a pretty good chance of just killing me. I think it just tried to cast beat but didn't have enough MP. And I got the mimic metal, so that's good. Hint seed. So the first instance of a mimic. Up to now it's been kind of boxes, but apparently mimics are weak enough that I can solo them, so. I'm not even afraid. It's a very strange environment. Oh, this is just awful. Whoa, up. Oh, that's where I started. No, it's not. It's not where I started. What's all this? And I'm going to try and go through this area legit. I think this is just a really, really big map. Oh, I found it down. Promising. Down is better than up. Turn around. No, I like I like this direction. For your own good, turn around. Turn around. I do what I want. Blue orb. Tiny metal. I got an orb. Dude, that's like two in like no time at all. I'm making good progress. All those things told me to turn around. They didn't even have good advice. Sometimes you need courage to listen to what others have to say. These moral decisions being presented by a video game. So I'm going to take a quick look at the map of this place because I feel like there might be some actual good stuff. Let me game fags it up. What's this place called? Wow, none of these places sound like the place that I'm in. Nope, that's not me. Um, pretty sure this isn't me. Gondo Cave. I don't remember that. 
I don't think I've been there. Garuna Tower. Divine Gone Tower. Don't remember that. There are a lot of places in this game. Nail Mark. I don't think I've been here. Navel of the Earth. Oh, this is where I am. Navel of the Earth. Isn't it? I think. Okay, I see how this shit works. So I didn't get the Terra, Terra armor, which is in here apparently. Apparently just south of where I am and slightly to the left. There we go. Slightly to the west. Uh, one Terra armor, please. I think that's a pretty good item. So do I have outside? Yeah, easy. Weren't you lonely? No. I like the answer yes more. So can I just go back? No, it won't let you. Won't let me. So that's that. And now I'm running out of things. There's okay. I've got another. I've got another uh, lead actually. Let me destroy this. Let me pass it to my bag. This Miss, Miss Magic Shield is taking up space. It's worse than the Expel Shield. Tossing it. So what about this Terra armor though? It's probably really good, but like. I like my cat suits. Only the main character can equip it. Um, I guess I'm going to... Okay, there's a bone that I was supposed to get that supposedly the guy who lived on the fucking random ass island in the far north east, that fucking snow. Supposedly he has that. So I can get that from him. Then I'm like officially out of places to go. If I, if that's, I think that's there. Let's cast return to um, Aliahan for no particular reason. Didn't really save myself that much time. All right, somewhere on here, there's a random patch. Ice man metal. Wish I hadn't spent so long trying to get that. So perhaps somewhere in his home there is a bone. Throw me a freaking bone, man. I'm the boss. Need the info. I was never expli No, I was explicitly... Uh, the first time I came here, I wasn't explicitly told. Semenau is king. I've got to get to Semenau through the Traveler's Gate. Alright. I have my lead. Got to go digging for Traveler's Gates. So I know there's one relatively close to um, Edinburgh. I think. Where are Traveler's Gates? Shit. Let me go down and hug the coast. See if I can't find any. What's the time where you first get the boat, Portoga? I think those run right around there. Let's go to it. Yeah. Oh no, this is the one that takes you... This one doesn't go anywhere. Takes you to the fucking starting area. Um. I guess I could go to Sue again and then go north. I feel like one of the little islands had um, a Chavez Gate on it. For the life of me, I can't remember where.
Two is not where I wanted to go. Let's return to um, Lancel. That's where I want to go. We'll f sail straight north and we'll hug the coast, looking for traveler's gates. Where's my boat moored? Should be right here. There it is. My team is so strong. Sri Lanka does not have anything on it. Merman. Traveler's Gates. If I go south from where I am, I think I hit the um, uh, volcano, which I, I don't particularly have anything to do with right now. Yeah. Apparently I have to fucking throw a Gaia Sword in that or something. I fucking, I forgot. I've already gotten a hint related to that. This is the town. Yeah, this is, I don't have anything to do here. I should go to like checkpoints between various places, because I think they tended to have. There was like a hotel somewhere. There was like a really random place where it was like fucking. God damn it! Where was that? I swear it was on a slightly offshore island. I'm trying to think. Let's go over there. That looks like a good spot. I don't remember what that town is, so might as well find out. There's Japan, nice and in the center of the world, just like real life. What's this? It's a town around here. Agile Seed. Who are you? Hinderlands. Oh, is this the town? No. This is the town that's on the way to Dharma. There was a gate here I can open now. Probably something cool. Tiny metal. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm glad I came here. Gotta find all the tiny metals. And yet at the same time... Fuck this. Don't tell Popota that my daddy fell into a volcano. Ah, Snailies. Always been a high defense enemy. Plomp learn beat? That's a pretty neat spell if I'm lucky, and of course I'm very lucky. Because of save states. So I think something good is going to be over here. Mad peckers. Actually blue beaks. Oh shit, it's a tower. What is this place again? Eliminato? Have I ever been here? Do I have that enemy? I don't recognize it. Oh my god, it's metal. What the fuck is this tower? Killer armor. I've gotten those. Let me look at Eliminato. Let me see if I've gotten that guy. Yeah, that's my Orochi. 147. Mimic is creepy. Now that's the first time I've run into that creature. Okay, that counts as leaving the area. Horks and a blue beak. Go goats, big horns. Go good as a Pokemon. Give me the Eliminados. That'll do.
Oh, I got this metal. Alright. I gotta think of all the different places I couldn't go because of the I didn't have the final key. Fortunately, if I find even a single place with Traveler's Gates, I'll probably find a bunch more because they tend to all lead to each other. Traveler's Gates are a cool feature of Dragon Quest. The idea is just very appealing to me. Very mysterious. So, I guess I've never climbed this tower, although I've seen it before. Whoa, four fucking ladders. Um. Like I said before, I forget I'm going to do some sniffing. No chests. No chests. There's the way up. Alright, so that's... Right is right. I'm glad, like, every single Venom enemy has been very kind about not... Um... Poisoning me. This entire playthrough. Sickle. That's an old item. I haven't thought about that in forever. Hmm, don't want to do any falling. Sting moths, I'm still running into these things. Explain. Looks like there's something in the center there. Maybe I can do some sort of tactical falling to get there. Kill armor. I already have that one. Barnabas. Yeah, I've definitely got to not forget about the tactical falling. Ooh, this might be Divine Gon's Tower. That's the thing that I find the most likely. It's a can of box. I really have no purpose in fighting this thing. Wow, it died really fast. Am I that good? Tiny metal. There's a Sky Dragon. Sky Dragon is a recolor of Divine Gon, or the reverse. Love Ring raises int, probably changes personality. throwing shit away. So now I can get to the center. I think now is the ideal time for doing some tactical falling. As long as I make sure that there's... I've already gotten all the treasures in this area. I think I did. Alright, here we go. Oh, look at this. Echo Flute. Whoa, hey, I got it. This is the item that lets me just find out when there's a, an orb in the immediate vicinity. So is that all that's here? What's this tower called? Can I use, like, fucking... What does this do? I don't know what that does. Arp Tower. Alright, let's have a look at Arp Tower. See if we didn't miss anything. I think I hit everything. Yeah, it just helps you finding orbs. Wow, I was supposed to have this thing already. Well, let's cast outside. So that's cool, but that doesn't really help me that much. Still looking for Traveler's Gates. They're not lit up on the map, I think. Which is frustrating, because I need them. Um... Hmm... Let me try the tip top of North America. Hi, Middle East. Am 
Monsters fled, not on my watch. There we go. Medley silver. Getting medley gold sounds irritating, but not as bad as Blissbird. There are enemies much more irritating to try and get gold for. That enemy only give me 8 experience. This be incredibly slow on console. This entire game. I don't see anything down here. My cat is suddenly having a panic attack right outside my door. He's like, help, help, help. That's what he's, that's the noise. Why do they, why do they make it so you can have so many enemies in a single battle? There's a lot of islands up here. And absolutely none of them, whoa, hold on. What's this? This could be what I'm looking for. Here's a Traveler's Gate. Oh, this is the one in the pass. Okay, that's one down. It's the one over here. I have no idea where I am. Ooh, shit, I, I found it. So hold on a sec while I take this one out. Where am I? This is that hotel I was looking for. Olivia Cape. Up to your death. Rooms the seas as a ghost ship. Talking to that guy might cause the ship to spawn somewhere. So where am I? What a random spot. I gotta find that ghost ship. So that's another thing that I need to do. Um, oh shit, that's um, that's that's someone else. So, um, yeah, I'm here. I'm inside uh, South America. There's my fucking grape ape. There's a kingdom. I'll do fusion. Whoa, Plomp got twin hits. Holy Fusion some other time. That game is cool. I will happily play it. So I th hope I can return here, now that I've been here once. Let's see what we got. Gotta remember to explore this place at night time too. Token. I'm paranoid. I must search everything. Hey church. There's no one here. That's a bit weird. Ooh. Brennan. Why don't they just bring him back to life? How come I can be brought back to life? Oh, the baby. To rest with the gods. That's cool, but this is a graveyard and therefore tiny metals. One of these graves might be the grave of so-and-so. Token. There's one grave. I don't remember which game that is. Angel Seed. There's one grave of this guy who's on a quest looking for um, play medals all over the world. I don't understand why I'm mysteriously mean to death. What's this? Hi. I think the king turned tyrannical after obtaining the change staff. If someone's blown away by disperse, you can find them at Rita's tavern? That's insane. Enemies can use disperse? 
If every single map had one tiny metal on it, it would be so easy to find them all. It would be tedious, but it would be easy. That kid is sad. Sad kid. Remember how Canis died? R.I.P. Canis. Probably nothing back there. If you value your life, you best keep clear of the castle. Eh. There are also rumors that the Demon Lord will destroy the world. I shouldn't have lived so long. I don't know, dog. Weapons and armor. Judge Staff. I think I already have one. Power. Punch. Zombie Sword. There's a sword in another game. It's called the Miracle Sword that restores health with every swing, and it's pretty broke. This is a good weapon, so I'm going to buy three of them. But I'm just going to put them in the bag. And what else are we looking at? Magic armor. Dragon shield. It's worse than what I have. It's good for Kuro. Black hat. It's getting to the point where all my tokens are just taking up space. What could this be? Uh, killed in a snowstorm. R.I.P. Canis. We both know what actually killed Canis, though. The fact that he wasn't in the sequel. I don't believe in a wrong side. Is there really nothing here? I don't believe in a nothing here. And evidently there's nothing here. So I guess I'm going this way. I think this leads to the castle. I'm about to fuck some shit up. I'm Simon's son. He's in jail somewhere. I guess I could free him. I mean, I've got the key that opens jail cells. And now we're 30 minutes, so I'm going to have to leave so I can pick up my friend from work. Because I'm a nice guy. Uh, yes. What if I said no? Probably won't let in from the front, so I'll probably get, like, fucking thrown in jail or some shit. Probably supposed to sneak in. Ah, oh, I got a tiny metal. <laughs> Disgusting. Be called by the king, don't lie. Well, time to sneak in. Hey, bitch. If the meal's late, we will be executed. What if you're not a man? What if you have an entire team of women? There must be so many um, lines of dialogue that are changed. Or it could just be men in the sense of, like, humans. I guess. I guess that's a... Dragon Quest is awesome. Is there perhaps a dungeon down here? You shouldn't be here. Go. Okay. It's as if... What? As if my father has become someone else. <gasps> hmm. After he came in contact with the change staff, which lets people impersonate other people. It's as though your father changed personalities. That's just mysterious. Well, we sneaking in. successfully snuck in. Nope. I gotta fight the king. Found the club. Found the cheat book. Hmm. 
Don't think I want to be here. Probably have to come back at night. That would make sense. Probably a lot of stuff different at night. Who are you? Damn, I got thrown in jail. I have the jail key so I can just leave. Monster is possessing people. That's horrible. Well, we in the deep jail now. Look at this wall. I know how secrets work. I am the king. Someone took the change staff. Um, I'm freeing you. This wall is too mysterious. There we go. What's my reward for finding this? Better be something cool. Why am I here? Oh, this be the way that you're forced to escape. That would make the most sense. I didn't talk to everyone. Rumored to be in the cave south of here. So I probably need to go find that. Get the Larmir. Larmir is in like every game. There's no reply, it's just a corpse. I already talked to you. Traveling poet. That's important. I gotta find Simon. He might be dead. I'm snoozing, so I'm talking in my sleep. Something is wrong with the king, but we cannot defy the king. I can't move from here, but it's been rumored there is a secret passageway here. That is the most base guard in the history of video games. He sleep-talked the way out to me. <laughs> of course, what's actually happening, he's, tr he's helping me escape. Alright. Some kind of cave south of here. This must be it. So, I don't know the name of this cave. Why are you all... Why are you so tiger? First floor of the Samanao Cave. That's a good name for this cave. Left turns only. These are Skeletors. Actually, I believe they're called Servants in later games. These are uh, very high-level enemies. I don't remember if this is the same thing as a, a Servant. They might just be Skeletors or Skeletons. Yeah. Torgon. Apparently killed a lot of those things. One Larmir, please. I don't think I have a voodoo man. I should get that guy. Did they just all cast Rob Magic? Fuck my life. They have a lot of experience. I got it. An entire team of tigers is a pretty cool team. Alright, let's make only right turns now. Cures. Do I have those? I honestly don't remember. Gonna have to look it up. Cure. Yeah, I do. Got both of them. This isn't only right turns, but I found a place that I'm probably supposed to go. I gotta do some smelling. Got it. No chests. Well, I guess I'll just go down. Shadow. That's a different enemy than Shadower. If I do it like this, like it's not that bad even if I'm getting level ups. This is a more efficient way to do it. There, I got it. So let's go down. 
There's a treasure chest. Oh shit, this is easy. Oh, they're just fucking laying them out for me. Token? This dungeon is awesome. Life acorn. Tiny metal. A mimic. So I need this thing's uh, metal very badly. I think there are a fixed number of mimics in the game. I got it. And I really ought to get its silver one. That's another bronze. It's going to take a while to get the silver one, though. Well, I'm kind of happy with the bronze, because it'll... Um, oh, I got the silver. Lucky. Alright, let's get it. It's gold. I should have done this with cannon boxes, too. I might have used up most of the cannon boxes in the game, which is terrifying. Well, I can just at end game I can I know at least one cannon box left, and at end game I can get a silver cannon box thing purely for um um having the two bronze that I have, and if I have a silver one I can get a gold one. So as long as I get that at least one other cannon box, there'll be plenty of mimics left in the game. There's probably like a Julian Morchess on this level. Eight. <laughs> 